Hi. Please listen to me. It's for your own good. I feel compelled to warn you of the danger that was recently unleashed upon the internet. I don't have much time left as it is. I feel that he draws near. I like to surf the net, as do most people. Sometimes the internet gets boring, though, and I find myself having nothing better to do than go on the anonymous webcamming site, known as Omegle. I'm sure most of you have heard of it, as it's notorious for having those perverts jerking their junk on cam. Well, I went to Omegle for the first time in forever. And, well, I guess they have this new feature where you get paired up with people that share your interests. In addition, they also let you access Facebook and use your interests on there if you want. I decided to try it, and began my random webcamming spree. The first few people just, you know, sort of skipped me. Then there were those idiots that I had skipped for jerking off. But... But then it happened. He showed up on cam. A man dressed black, appearing to be a robe or gown, wearing what looked like to be a well-detailed, semi-expensive, sort of jack-o'-lantern-like or creepy pumpkin mask. I couldn't really tell what the mask was made from, though. The man came on camera and was waving at me creepily. I'd kind of gotten freaked out, but then I laughed and asked if he could take off his mask. The man was silent and just just sort of shook his head no. And I found that to be a bit unsettling. Time passed and I thought I had caught on. I laughed, asking the man if this was a prank. But the man had motioned for me to be quiet when I did so. I typed to the man saying that I was going to skip to the next person, but then he typed again, saying, but this is just too funny. The man then typed, I know where you are. For the next three days, wherever you go, I will follow you. Whatever you do, I will be watching. I will know where you are, who you're with, what you're doing, and when you're doing it. And all you will ever see of me is this mask. Then, after three days, I will kill you. As if that weren't enough, as I finished reading and went to go to the next chat, I noticed that my webcam was mirroring his. He was somehow now broadcasting from my webcam as well. I saw the man point at the screen as if to point to me with his index finger. And then do the cutthroat motion. At this point, I took this as something more serious and was now on edge. So, I screen capped this as evidence for the police. I printed the picture and then headed to the local police station right away. On my way to the station, I noticed in my rearview mirror that the car behind me appeared to have no driver. But I did see the mask the man was wearing through the glass. When I arrived at the station and handed the pictures to the police, they assured me that they'd be scouting my area for a man with a mask the next few days. And this made me feel somewhat safe. I decided with them on a stakeout, that I'd try continuing my life as normal. The next day, I went shopping at Walmart because I was getting low on food and needed to pick up milk. Something very scary happened in Walmart, though. As I progressed in getting the groceries I needed, the usual bustle of the store dumbed down just as, if not more progressively. 
when I got to check out, I noticed no one was in the store any longer. And in each checkout lane, on the counters, was a mask just like that man wore. I ran out and hurriedly unlocked my car door, just piling my groceries in the passenger seat and sped out of the parking lot. When I got home, I was so freaked. I just grabbed all the groceries I could and ran into the house, and then locked all the doors and windows. I, I needed assurance, so I called to the police and asked them if they'd noticed him around, and thankfully they hadn't. I decided to call it an early night and went upstairs just to go to bed. And when I awoke that morning, well, I was frightened to see that hanging on the hook of my closet door in my bedroom was the mask the man wore. I grabbed the mask, rushed downstairs, grabbed my keys, and rushed off to the police station again. I showed them the mask, and they had told me to stay at a friend's house for the night while they investigated my house. I called my buddy Brad. He always gave me a place when I needed it, so that night I headed to his place, and we stayed up playing video games while I explained my situation. To my shock, though, he said that he encountered the same man just a day before I did, which would make this his third day. And later that night, when we were asleep, I was awoken to a loud noise coming from Brad's room. Scared, I crept upstairs to check on him, and was horrified at what I saw. Brad was laying on his bed in a pool of blood, with that damn mask laying on his chest. Today it's my third day, and I'm sitting at the police station, on Brad's laptop trying to warn you all. Beware of the Pumpkin Man. I don't know what will become of me, but if this post gets around and saves as many lives as possible, I'm content.